We're rolling. All right. First of all, mad respect to Eddie Pinero because that was fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit. I have never seen something so fucking ice in your veins than that. That was something special, dude. Holy shit. Um, yeah, so this is what happened. So I was at the bar at this restaurant we were eating at for my grandma's birthday, whatever. And this dude, they had already lost a lead. So, of course, I'm sitting there snarfing like, oh, God damn it. Like, fuck, bitch. Like, we're, we're going to fucking lose in Denver. Like, we had just lost the lead. It's 14 to 13. So I'm like, all right. Then I get the ball back. And then they had the penalty. It was like, it went from the 25. I think the roughing the pass was like the first fucking play. So really, it was just one pass, right? But I don't know what to do with my hat. I'm just going to put it this way. Fuck it. Um, so we had the, the roughing the passer, I think. And then the pass to Robinson. But like before that, I was like, oh, come on. Like every incompletion, whatever. Because it was like, there, we needed one play. And this dude next to me, it's like 60-something motherfucker. He was like... You still have hope? <laughs> and me, knowing me, I'm the most pessimistic bastard out there, right? But this guy's going, you, you still have hope? I'm like, it's not even hope. It's just, it's logic. Like, you, you one big play, timeout, and kick. And that was it. The fact that it actually happened, like, the execution was perfect. They, that roughing the passer, though, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was complete, complete garbage. And people are saying, oh, Bears are lucky one you're damn straight they got lucky. But then again, like, they were getting hosed, too. Leonard Floyd at the very beginning, first drive of the game, whatever. Um, unnecessary roughness. And then they had the roughing pa- roughing the passer of their own. I think it was Goldman. I think it was Goldman. It was somebody that, like, it was just not roughing the passer anyway. So that was fucked. I don't even want to get in Trubisky yet. In the Trubisky, but... Yeah, rough, rough game. Um, people, you know who you are, a win's a win. Shut the fuck up, dude. Like, that is so not how this works. At all. Like, you don't just, get, it's not March Madness, survive in advance. Head ass. You do not want to look like this all the time. Like, what, this is, we, so far, we pretty much are the Jaguars from last year. Coming off of their AFC Championship game appearance. That is such a fair comparison as it is. Because how, how bad can Trubisky be for the rest of the season? Like, is he worse than Blake Bortles? Could he really be as bad as Blake Bortles? And so far, yes. I mean, this dude, great. He had that one. Honestly, that last play was fucking crazy. Just wide open, though. I mean, he's wide open. I don't know how that broke down. But that was nasty. The fact that he was able to get that off and the whole... I've been getting sh- some shit on Twitter about him giving himself up because I took this from it was Ted Ginn, Colvin, last play of the game, Monday night, Saints-Texans. Ted Ginn catches the ball and just, like, dives. He didn't, like, slide or anything. He just catches the ball and dives forward, right? But And then the dude, t- the dude on the Texans touches him to complete the tackle, two seconds left, whatever. Um, if he doesn't touch him, like... Are they really going to blow the whistle? And there was two seconds left. Today there was one with Allen Robinson, but come on. How could you blow the whistle on that? Like, it's just a dive. It's not like an automatic, oh, I'm giving myself up in a field position. Like, no. Come on. Yeah, my bad. I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube on the phone record bullshit. So, yeah, I don't even know where I was at regarding the whole Bears. Oh, so yeah, Trubisky fucking blows. Until further notice, like, I remember he started slow last year. Um, that shitty Seahawks Monday Nighter, but he was better than he was today in that game. At least he threw a touchdown. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Like, I'm, I'm not like 10 out of 10, like, oh, like, we need to get rid of this guy, or I'm a 100% panic, 10 out of 10. I'm more like 5 or 6. Like, this dude's kind of more like Rex Grossman than Jay Cutler. And Jay Cutler had his own issues at the very beginning. I mean, this is already, technically this is year two. For being real, of Mitchell Trubisky. Because year one was like, it was just a throwaway automatic, like, this isn't the plan, but we'll see how you play anyway. And that was pretty obvious from the get go. So, P. 
people need to chill with the Trubisky shit for the most part. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't think this dude's any good. <laughs> like, this, this is a problem for the time being. In the immediate future, like, we're trying to win the Super Bowl this year, am I wrong? Remember, like, hello, we're supposed to be Super Bowl contenders. Pfft, I have them in the Super Bowl. I don't know what the fuck this is. Was I expecting Trubisky to not have any fucking touchdowns for two games? Obviously not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you really think that? No. Hell no. So that's a problem. Th that is a... All right, yeah, and honestly, I don't know what they're going to do. How could they be better? And they ran the ball well today. That I know. Um, Trubisky just, I don't know, really know what the problem was today. There was a lot of throws for not a lot of yards. Like, I think he completed more than half his passes. He didn't last Thursday. I mean, I'm pretty sure. It just, like, wasn't much to it. But, damn, their run game was pretty good. Cordero Patterson, that one run, that was nasty. He went a long way on that one run. And then, I don't know, I just can't believe they won. That was crazy. And this is like my first time like digesting it tonight. That was awesome. Eddie Pinero is... I was going to say Pinales, but that's garbage. <laughs> Eddie Pinero is nails. That's the point. And we have ourselves a kicker. One I wish we had eight months ago, but... That's life. So, that's all yeah. I have for tonight. Pretty soon we're going to start doing some fantasy talk on here. Um, just in case anybody gives a shit about that. Because my fantasy team was hot garbage. Both of them. My main one and my beanhead one were both complete ass. Beanhead one was even more worse. More worse. Worse. Way worse. And somehow I can still beat Jimmy's bitch ass. Sweet chin music's about to get countered with a pedigree. You fucking bums suck it. And, uh, yeah. Tomorrow's Victory Monday. Let's fucking get it.